So if you are staying anywhere near Bangalore, you have to go for this road trip to Ampi. The roads are just simply mind blowing. In fact, I have driven for almost 4 hours now, I still have 2 hours to go. There is no signs of fatigue. The roads are super smooth, just like butter. And there are these stretches where you know you can see some flowers and uh, beautiful scenery on your both sides, left and right and side. It was the first stop. We still have three hours to go to Hambi. You saw the team just rushed to get some food because there aren't many restaurants and places to eat. So the first sign of a dhaba or something, we had to take a pit stop. Yeah guys, already you know, we leave now, okay? Guys. So guys, day two of Hampi, we are at this beautiful Evolve Back Resort. In fact, beautiful is an understatement. In fact, gorgeous is also an understatement. Mind-blowing is simply the right word. This place will take you back centuries ago. You know, dynasties ruled here. It was it reminisces of all that things which is very historical, very, very ancient. It's so nice, and I hope my team is all ready because now we are going to go and Check out the you know the you know Hampi is known for it's a national it's a UNESCO World Heritage Project so there are many places many architectures I'm super excited because these kind of places you don't come all the time and when you come they all it will all take you back centuries because you know if you see these kind of sand chandeliers it's got the resort is so peaceful it's got only 39 rooms so it's very very beautiful very very chic and very very classy. are so beautiful roads. I mean, you know, South India is famous for food, for roads, but these kind of roads, you can keep driving, really. You can really drive and drive and drive. Nothing else you need. So we are the oldest export surface in the world. This place, you can see, these are all granite rocks and it's a beautiful landscape. In fact, we just crossed the Shanapur Lake. There are crocodiles in the lake, and, and there were also leopards there. Oh, that's why we so then we should go back. Let's go. So we've come to this beautiful ruins of a Saraswati temple. Very, very ancient architecture, and Mohit has already been here, right there, has explored the place, and he has something to talk about. Look at this incredible site. I'm standing right behind Saraswat Temple. You know how old is that? It was made in 14th century. This was part of the Vijay Nagari Kingdom. This is like 26 kilometers of whole area. I'm astonished to see this site. It's absolutely amazing. And look at this uh, marvel of architecture back in 14th century. I cannot imagine, you know, people were so advanced. They were so scientific to make such structures. This is incredible. I think Hampi is a place to come and experience something this was like 600 years old.
Guys, umbrellas are out. It's day three at Humpy. The rain looks to be spoiling our party, but the folks are all ready. We are going to hit two very beautiful monumental architectures. One is called Achutaraya, which is not a life temple, which is a huge temple built in the ancient days. And the other one is called Virupakshya. Hi guys, we are here at the Matanga Hill, which you can see right behind me. It's from the 14th century and about 700 years old. It has great historical and mythological values attached to it. And beside it is the Ajutya Raya Temple, which has about 380 steps to climb. So we are going to first go to the Matanga Hill and then to the Ajutya Raya Temple. So let's go. So this is that Achutriya temple, you know, there was a king called Achutriya and very interesting, you know, when the Mughal dynasty came, they took away the idol and did you know that if an idol is taken or destroyed, then you can't rebuild a temple. That's why it's such a beautiful piece of architecture remains unused. So you can't use this temple, you know, it's such a nice temple, but because of that, this temple remains like this, but it's still so beautiful. After exploring the beautiful Matunga Hill and the Achutya Rai Temple, we've explored this river which is called the Tungabhadra River and we are going boating in these boats which is called Kurakkal Boats. This is really unexplored and everyone should come here. This boat ride was absolutely amazing and look they are still having fun. Next stop, breakfast because really hungry. While she's still walking, I'm standing on top of Hemukutta Hill and this is the Virupaksha temple, the famous Virupaksha temple. In fact, this is the place where Lord Shiva and Parvati got married. So, and she's known as Pampa Devi. She's just come from inside the temple. This is a magnificent place, isn't it? Very amazing. Beautiful. So you have to come here to believe it and we go to the next one. Let's go. here at the Vithala temple. It was established in the 15th century and there are two most iconic things of Hampi inside which is the stone chariot and the musical pillars and there's one interesting thing that I will tell you but first let's go inside. And this is the most famous stone chariot in fact, the most touristic spot in the whole of Hampi. And there's something very symbolic about it. In fact, no one knows till you see this. The 50 rupees note that you see has this engraving and you can imagine how symbolic this is. In fact, let me manifest it by saying that this is the place from where money comes from. Now take a look at this stone chariot and the next one will go and show you the musical pillars. So here we are at the Vithala temple. You know, there's a very interesting fact about this. This was made by king for his queen, uh, Chinna Devi. She used to be the best dancer, so he created a dancing hall with musical pillars in it. So they used to hit it with bamboo sticks and create music. So this was like the amazing thing king made for his queen. I am with the binoculars and this is the other side of Hampi. It's basically 
something called bird walk and that's only offered by a wall back and uh, you know you might go and see a lot of historical places and this hump is filled with it but this is something that you only find in a wall back and i suggest when you're here go for this one hour trek early in the morning and you might see some very interesting and very uh, maybe wild birds let's check it out Time to head back. It was wonderful three days at Hampi, and Evolve Back Resort, which has just started in the year 2016, a three-year-old property with magnificently large rooms and a beautiful hospital partner, is one place you should come and live here. Locals say that three days is too less for Hampi. In fact, ten days is less for Hampi. But we don't have all the time in the world. Whatever we could do, we could do. But there's one thing for sure: Hampi will take you back billion years behind. It's so prehistoric. is so mesmerizing that i mean you have to come here to believe it and uh, the best part about evolve back is that it's placed right in the